One of the nice things about decimals is that in arithmetic, decimals behave almost exactly like whole numbers. Rather than thinking of them in terms of denominators, we can think of the digits to the right of the decimal point in terms of place value. How so? Well, let's imagine we have a fairly simple decimal, 0 0.02. Using the rules that we've seen before, that would be 2 over a 1 followed by two zeros, so two hundredths. Hmm. It's pretty easy to see that there's nothing special about the two there. Right? Any digit that I put in this place would indicate a number of hundredths. What about, um, say, 0 0.4? But that would be 4, a 1 followed by 1 zero in the denominator, so 4 tenths. Okay, let's look at one more simple decimal. 0 0.005 would be 5 over a 1 followed by 3 zeros, so 5 thousandths. Hmm. Do these decimal place values work the same way that regular place values do? How do I mean? Well, if I write the number 317, that means 300 plus 110 plus 7 units. If I write the number 0 0.425, well, we said it looked like this was tenths, and then this was hundredths, and then this last digit was thousandths. So does this number mean four tenths plus two hundredths plus five thousandths? Well, let's do that addition and see. In order to actually do this addition, I'm going to need a common denominator. So let's see, I think my common denominator is going to be a thousand. Four tenths, I'm multiplying the numerator and denominator both by a hundred. So I'm going to get four hundred thousandths. Two hundredths, I'm multiplying the numerator and denominator both by 10, so I'll get 20 thousandths. And five thousandths, I'm just leaving as it is. Okay. What fraction is that going to be then? Add together the numerators. 400 plus 20 plus 5 is just 425. Denominator still a thousand. Four hundred twenty-five thousandths. Three digits after the decimal place. Yes. Yes, it does. And so we can regard those digits to the right of the decimal point as representing place values just in the same way we do the digits to the left of the decimal point. In fact, the digits to the right of the decimal point follow the same pattern as those to the left, but in the opposite direction. So to the left of the decimal point, we had units, tens, hundreds, thousands, and so on. To the right of the decimal point, this one's sometimes a surprise, the first place is tenths then hundredths, then thousandths, and so on. Why no once? Why is the first place after the decimal point tenths? 
And the answer to that is, well, there's already a name for denominator 1. Denominator 1, once, is already in the unit's place. So we don't need another place to indicate that. Hmm. Okay, so how do we use this? Well, one of the big places we need to be aware of decimal place value is when we're talking about where we're going to round. Say we want to round 3.141592 to the nearest 10,000th. Well, in order to do that, we need to locate the 10,000th place. We could do that by reading off the names of the places, but I think that it's easier to do by looking at the fraction. One ten-thousandth. Right, that has four zeros, and therefore it's going to be in the fourth place after the decimal point. So the ten thousandths place, that's where that five is. Okay, and now the rest is just look at the next digit, decide in this case to round up, and we get 3.1416.